Windsor, Ontario was the birthplace of Jeff Steubing in 1959. The Steubing family moved to McMinnville after Jeff's freshman year in 1974. New to MHS, Jeff decided to compete in athletics as a way to make friends. He made the varsity football team that fall as the injury-plagued Bears managed to win five of their nine games. In the winter, Steubing attempted to make the basketball team, but unfortunately he was cut after tryouts. So he decided to try a sport that was completely new to him, wrestling. Jeff made the varsity squad as only a sophomore due to the team having a void in his 157-pound weight class. He immediately developed a passion and love for the sport, regardless of his one win and 14 loss overall record that season. As the losses piled up, his frustration grew and after that season decided to make wrestling his number one commitment. He joined the Tanstoffel Wrestling Club in order to practice against the best competition and develop his skills for next season. He drove 40 miles one way daily for workouts with the club, which paid off greatly as he quickly caught on to the throwing and pinning styles of the club. As his body and skills grew stronger, Jeff began competing in several national tournaments, winning his share of matches in both the freestyle and Greco-Roman styles. After participating on the football team again in his junior year, Jeff had turned his losing ways completely around that wrestling season. After only winning one match in the previous season, Jeff would only lose one match as a junior on his way to a 28-win season, including a district and state championship. He became the first McMinnville High wrestler to win the state title in 23 years, going from worst in league to best in state. Steubing again competed in club wrestling that spring and summer as he trained harder than the summer before, indicative of his incredible work ethic. He ran five miles while weight training and wrestling for at least two hours every single day. Over that summer, Jeff was the club wrestling champion in both the freestyle and Greco-Roman competitions, as well as winning the AAU Junior National Championship in the freestyle while taking second place in the Greco-Roman competition. In the USWF Junior National Tournament, Steubing won 10 out of 11 matches in freestyle play to take second place and win a perfect 8-0 with 8 pins to win the Greco-Roman Championship. He was invited to travel with an All-American team to Turkey to compete on a worldwide level, proving that Jeff had become not only one of the best 17-year-old wrestlers in this nation, but also the world. Due to the long, physically demanding summer, Steubing decided not to play football in his senior year so he could continue to focus on improving as a wrestler. He competed in over 125 club and high school matches, including an undefeated 34-win season at MHS, becoming the back-to-back -back district and state champion in the 168-pound weight class. I just remember him being an outstanding you know, wrestler, um, you know, somebody you looked up to. And Jeff, I think, liked the individuality of the sport. You know, the one on one, and but yet it was tied to a team concept because you had other people that were on your team. And so he liked, I think, both aspects of that um, being part of the team and then and then going on from his own. And so when he when he got a chance to wrestle, you know, on the off season, it was all about Jeff. And that was the best part. And then he brought that back to the team, brought that back to the school, and then got to share that that wealth of knowledge that he had with the other with the other kids that, that weighed a little more than he did and weighed less than he did. So in wrestling, Jeff was always tough. I mean, Jeff was good. And he didn't hold back. And so he would, you know, he, he would, uh, you know, be a good teacher too at the same time, you know, just as another coach. And everybody respected that. And, you know, we, we all drew from Jeff. Uh, his knowledge, his strength, his speed. Um, we even had a class on uh, the wizard trip and the wizard throw just because of Jeff and um, Jeff unified the team Jeff uh, you know was like the glue of the bond and um, you know everybody you know just responded to him we would usually wrestle in groups and I was in a group with like Dave Moberg and some some lighter guys and Jeff would be in a, a heavier group with even some of the heavyweights do you know what it's like being six foot five and a half your sophomore year and at the end of the day during wrestling season looking forward to having your ass kicked by Jeff Steubing do you understand that that wears on a man and then you know you got to be cheerful Jeff had become a lean mean pinning machine winning most of his matches by pinning his opponents in the first or second round of his 34 wins 29 of them came by way of pin while leading the Grizzlies to an all-time best 18-win season. After participating on the track and field team in the spring, Jeff was once again the repeat club wrestling state champion in both freestyle and Greco-Roman competitions, while winning the national championship for the Canadian Junior National Tournament. He entered the World Junior Wrestling Tournament and placed sixth in the Greco-Roman competition, becoming the first ever Canadian to place in this tournament. Upon the end of an incredible high school and junior wrestling career, Jeff attended the University of Oregon in the fall of 1977 on a full athletic scholarship 
to wrestle for head coach and former Olympian Ron Finley. Wrestling on the varsity team as only a freshman could have been a tough transition for anyone, but Steubing proved to U of O that their investment was a good one by winning half of his matches while helping the Ducks finish the season ranked 21st in the nation. Jeff's outstanding season earned him the team's Rookie of the Year award as well as a freshman All-American selection. He competed in the USWF Open, finishing fifth in the nation in the Greco-Roman style to end an excellent first year. Well, I think he was just tenacious. He was, uh, uh, he was fearless. You know, he didn't care uh, about the what happened to him. He just went out and, like I said before, he uh, just wanted to pin the guy, and so he just kept going and going and going, and uh, he was relentless. He just wouldn't stop, and that's what I liked about him. And you know, when I was coaching here at Oregon. Uh, then uh, that, that's the kind of character that we wanted. During the summer, Steubing joined the Sunkissed Wrestling Club as another form of preparation for his sophomore season. In that season, he improved his individual record by winning 16 of his 30 matches while helping the team to a 14-10 and 10 record. In a meet versus California, the Ducks scored an all-time high 55 points in a shutout victory, which is still Oregon's most lopsided win. The team finished the season fourth in the newly formed Pac-10 Conference and ranked as the country's 18th best squad. Steubing participated in the Canadian Junior National Tournament, winning both the Greco-Roman and Freestyle Championships. After finishing in fourth place at the World Junior Tournament in the Freestyle Competition, he began attending Canadian National Team tryouts in hopes for qualifying for Olympic trials. Even though Jeff did not qualify for the 1980 Summer Games, he did gain tremendous experience for the future. After acquiring such a valuable experience, Jeff entered his junior season ready to dominate the competition in the fashion of his days at MHS. He greatly improved his individual record to 29 wins and only 7 losses, while leading the team to an excellent 18-5 record. Steubing had become one of the country's best Greco-Roman and freestyle wrestlers in the 167-pound weight class. He won the Pac-10 Tournament Championship while helping the Ducks achieve second place in the conference standings. Oregon completed one of their best seasons ever by finishing 11th in the NCAA tournament, which is still the school's highest national ranking in wrestling. That summer, Jeff continued to train every day with the Canadian national team and the Oregon coaching staff while watching the 1980 Summer Olympics in Moscow with dreams of soon competing on the world's biggest stage. As a senior leader of the Oregon wrestling team, Steubing capped off his outstanding collegiate career with perhaps his best season yet. His individual record of 34 wins to only 3 losses led the Ducks to their all-time winningest season with a 22-3 record and the Pac-10 Conference Championship. Jeff was once again the Pac-10 Tournament Champion while winning the Tournament MVP Award. He was voted as the team's most valuable player and as the Pac-10's wrestler of the year, while Oregon finished the NCAA Tournament ranked 22nd in the nation. Well, he developed his skills. He got to be world class, you know, he wrestled in the World Championships and, and, uh, and Pan American Games and... And, you know, he was he was an outstanding competitor. And when you get, you know, people didn't want to wrestle him because he was, he'd catch you and put you on your back. After college, Jeff continued to follow his dream of being an Olympian and decided to solely focus all of his efforts on the Greco-Roman style of wrestling. It proved to be a prosperous decision as Steuben earned a spot onto the Canadian national team in 1982. In the 1983 Pan American Games, Jeff defeated his American opponent in the finals to win the gold medal and secure his place onto the 1984 Canadian Olympic team. Los Angeles, the city in which stars are born and dreams are made, was the host of the 1984 Summer Olympics. Steubing had finally realized his goals as he made the most of his opportunity by performing exceptionally and ending the Olympics ranked as the 11th best Greco-Roman wrestler in the world. Now at the top of his game, Jeff pushed himself even further by setting a new goal of earning a spot onto the United States Olympic team. He achieved a dual citizenship and immediately tried out for and made the USA national team in 1985. Over the next few years, he competed in a multitude of international tournaments, consistently placing in the top three nearly every time, including being a back-to-back -back finalist in the USA Wrestling Nationals. At the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, South Korea, Jeff Steubing defied the odds and achieved yet another goal of making the USA Olympic team as an alternate at the age of 28. He competed well in preliminary play, but the recognition he received and the experience of just being there was enough to satisfy his life's goal. After spending five years with the U.S. national team, Jeff stepped away from international competition in 1990 and joined the California Jets professional team in the newly formed National Wrestling League. With the WWF at the pinnacle of their success, the popularity of the sport was growing exponentially. Steubing spent two years in the NWL as a Greco-Roman All-Star and led the Jets to a league championship. In 1992, after a 16-year wrestling career, Jeff Steubing retired from the sport that brought him such success all over the world at the age of 32. His love for the sport grows as he passes along knowledge through coaching and advising in several wrestling clubs around the country. 
His success continues since he has become a prosperous inventor and businessman by developing products for the elderly and disabled. His passion is still evident. He co-founded and is a board member of the nonprofit organization Save Oregon Wrestling, which is determined to bring the wrestling program back to the University of Oregon. His achievements speak for themselves.